The toy juggernaut that is Barbie is one of the most recognizable toy brands in the world. Ruth Handler is the one credited for the creation of Barbie after seeing the Lily doll in Switzerland, eventually buying the rights and changing it to become Barbie. The whole idea behind Barbie is that whatever the children want to be, they could live out that dream through Barbie, which is why she has so many professions. Now, Barbie has a lot of good and bad attributed to her. The good is that Barbie has basically had every single career which people think serves as a positive image for young girls. If Barbie can be an astronaut, then surely you can have a bachelor's in a STEM field, have at least a thousand hours of pilot time in a jet aircraft, and pass NASA's physical exam. It'll only take the better part of a decade. What's so hard? The bad is that Barbie, well, dolls in general are typically looked down on as being too skinny and making girls think that they need to look a certain way, which I actually did a video covering the research behind that in my follow-up video for brats. And though typically these allegations don't hold much weight when it comes to how little girls actually view themselves, the problem really arose when Barbie had a weight loss book that literally told girls, don't eat, which really made parents, and most likely people suffering from anorexia, really upset. Luckily, time passed, controversies rose and fell, and now we don't really see that issue anymore. Now, Barbie is just another doll. For me, well, for me and my sister, what we would do is that we had one of those doll houses that looked like it was just a house that was cut in half so you could see all the rooms. Well, my sister and I would pretend to be smart and, you know, have the running joke of, you know, someone just wakes up, comes downstairs and freaks the heck out and go, what happened to the house? I don't know, it's cut in half. It was like this when I woke up? And then proceed to have them peer over the edge only to inevitably trip and dangle over the side of the of the house. And it was fun. I, I like that. Huh, that was fun. And I know major media wants us to focus on the scandalous parts of Barbie and her being too thin and her being underweight technically, but like... We were too busy torturing our dolls to care. And as most things, Barbie knew that she could sell more toys by making crappy CGI animated movies, cartoons, and also toy lines for adults because toy collecting for adults is very common now and it's really nice, especially for me. It feels very validating when companies prey on your weird quirk and they make tailor-made products for you so that you can argue like, hey, it's not weird. Look, this company is specifically making toys for me. Stop, stop pretending I'm the weirdo here. I'm valid. Now, because I'm a busy person and because I didn't want to, I didn't watch every Barbie movie. Someone else already did that and made a video on it. So I took the lowest rated Barbie movie from IMDb and decided to watch that one. Oh, thank goodness. A Barbie movie that appeals to me. A true gamer. Dang, Barbie, look at that setup. Four monitors without a tower? That's how you know Barbie's a real gamer. I'm going to code us a little power up to help us over. But isn't that cheating? Not if you're the one who created the game. Ah, yes, clicking icons. I too am a coder. What is she using? The drag and drop system of Game Maker Studio? So Barbie gets asked to play test a new game and gets sucked into a video game and also gets a sick ass anime avatar. Also, there's a virus taking over the game. So Barbie needs to beat the game to defeat the virus. <laughs> hey, watch it. Bella enters the game. Oh, look, a noob. Ugh, another noob? I'm so tired of pwning these noobs. The cool thing is that every level is also a different art style, which I am so sorry for the 3D designers having to make so many different models. The whole thing is that every level Barbie tries to save the NPCs from the virus until she fails to do so for one of the levels. Turns out the tutorial character wanted friends because Everyone skips the tutorial. I have never related to anything more strongly in my entire life. And what I need now is a way back. But is it back the wrong way? Sometimes the wrong way is the right way. And sometimes you have to go back before you can go forward. Hang on, I thought this was supposed to be a Minecraft world and not a Metroidvania world. What do you think you're doing? Teaching kids tips for how to play games? Ridiculous. BT Dubs, that shortcut you built? Brilliant. Okay, listen, 
I can make a joke about outdated terminology maybe once, noobs, but now this is insulting. I don't think anyone actually said BT dubs out loud. And if anyone did, I have no doubt they're now very upset at me for calling out how cringy they were. So Barbie reprograms the game to challenge the virus to just dance. Once again, the day is saved thanks to product placement. The movie wasn't really bad. It was just boring and uninspired. It's that kind of lukewarm movie that's not even fun to watch ironically. It's just boring. But don't worry, because I also watched the highest rated Barbie movie, according to IMDb. Oh god, I can't tell if they intentionally tried to make it plastic-like to make them look more like dolls, or if this is really what direct-to-DVD movies looked like in 2004. You'll be working for me for another 37 years. But I've already paid off more than half. But there's an interest, isn't there? Your parents should have thought of that before they borrowed so much. They did it to feed me. Their mistake. <laughs> we are stealing gold. Is this shiny? No. Focus, Nick. That's what you need! Basically, Barbie is a princess, and there's this creep that wants to marry her because he's a selfish jerkwad that wants to become king. Problem is that there's already a young, handsome suitor the queen has chosen for the princess to marry, so gross villain guy needs to act fast. On a stroll through the city, the princess meets the pauper, and they start talking about how she can't do anything because everything is chosen for her, and she also can't do anything because she's an indentured slave, so they're basically the same. So the gross villain guy kidnaps the princess in an attempt to eventually pretend to save her and have the queen choose him as the princess's suitor instead. Luckily the princess's servant boy catches on to the whole thing. So the plan is to have the pauper pretend to be the princess so that he can go search for the real princess and the wedding won't be called off. Your highness, wait! May I, uh, present? Princess Annalise. And because the lackeys are laughably stupid, the princess manages to escape. But oh wait, the servant boy gets captured. Then the princess gets mistaken for the pauper and is forced into indentured servitude. And you know, the pauper girl still dressed as the princess is slowly falling in love with the princess's suitor. How scandalous. So the advisor calls her out for being fake and then the dude proposes to the queen. And then the princess admits to have a major crush on the servant boy. Well, servant man, I guess. Then that pauper girl's cat finds the princess and breaks them out. And then the pauper girl breaks herself out of the dungeon. And you know where this is going. They stop the wedding. The princess proves she's the real deal. Turns out that the princess paid off the girl's debt and decides not to marry a king because she wanted to travel the world. Okay, cool. But after several years, decides to come back to her one true love. Oh my god, this movie was so good. What the heck? Every time I think I know what they're gonna do, they switch it up on me. And it was so cute. You guys gotta watch this movie. Barbie kills it in this role. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know that basically Every doll series has an animated show on the internet now. Ever After High got one, Monster High got one, there's that God School one that I haven't covered yet, but I've seen you guys recommend it to me. People are on the YouTubes watching their shows. But Barbie decided to take a unique approach to it that I personally find simultaneously fantastic and creepy. Instead of just uploading a scripted show with characters and a plot, they just made Barbie a YouTuber. My issue is that I know it's fake, but I'm not paying attention to Barbie. I'm too busy being jealous of her house. I mean, I guess they call it the dream house because I'll only ever see it in my dreams. So they're playing the floor is lava and she's trying to get to the piano and- Wait, hang on! No, there's no way. You and I both know that thing would slide underneath her and she'd bash her head on the floor. I've played way too much of this game. You're looking at a bona fide, the floor is lava expert. This is fake. 
I call fake. Okay, hang on. Let's go back to the first one, all the way back in 2015, when she first started vlogging. Hi. Uh, okay, let's see. They didn't have much of a budget back in 2015, I guess. And I guess Barbie got a better hair care routine over the last five years because that does not look good. Uh, here are ten things you may or may not have known about me. Oh, ew. Her first video is a top ten? I mean, I guess we need to start somewhere. I've always just been curious about things. It's not just chemistry. What happens when you put different things together? Wait, 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 wait. Do you see this? I love, I, I love this a lot. Okay. You can see the animated jump cuts in the video. Like a real YouTuber video. Chances are I'm doing it right now. Now that is an eye for detail. You know, I'm starting to like Barbie. I I'm sorry, Morty. I, I think I have a new VTuber I gotta simp over. Hey guys. So, I woke up this morning feeling a little blue. I know, right? Don't you hate that? So, here are some of the things that I do to cheer myself up. I journal, I write and doodle, anything that's in my mind, and usually I try to do that before I go to bed every night. I organize my room and my backpack. <laughs> Hey there, it's me, Negative, but you know, in different clothes, because the original footage I had of this segment where I wanted to talk about this specific thing got corrupted. So now I'm gonna break your immersion of the video. Is there immersion with YouTube videos? Whatever, I'm doing it anyway. In all seriousness, I now have some serious respect for Barbie. She's giving a list of ways to help with symptoms of depression and anxiety. And this is the kind of stuff that I do. And she's delivering it in a way that's digestible for kids. And I don't know, I don't think I've ever been more impressed with a corporate constructed persona in my life. But now, let's move past the weird YouTube segment and get to the part that we've all been waiting for. In 2012, we got the absolute treasure that is Barbie's Life in the Dream House, a show where they don't pretend that Barbie is a real girl, they're all literal animated dolls, and has some of the best, freshest humor I've seen in a long time. The show is set up as if it's a reality show where they show the characters going about their day, and you know, we'll do quick asides where they personally interview them to comment on what's going on, and since the humor on this show is already going to catch you off guard, adding that extra layer of pretending it's a reality show only adds to the comedic charm of this show. Until like a couple episodes in where they just drop the whole reality show gimmick and just it just becomes a regular show, but whatever, it's still funny. No food, no water, no gossip magazines. This is torture! Except for the fully staffed microbiotic free range cafe slash smoothie bar can also installed. <laughs> They must save a lot of space if the majority of their stuff is just a sticker on the wall. We're taking her to the beach. Oh, that's peculiar. I'm taking her to the Malibu Macrame Museum. I sensed tension and came as fast as I could. Okay, Raquel is officially my favorite character. Have a blast, guys! I think you'll find it's a two-man job. When's the other man showing up? Is that it? <sighs> my driver's license! What a coincidence! I just got mine too! I know that making a video titled What Happened to Barbie is inevitably going to give me comments of people saying Um, nothing happened. Barbie's still going strong. Hashtag Barb Squad. Even though that's not the point of these freaking videos. But I understand because I know that more than half of the people watching this video aren't subscribed even though it's free. And you can do it right now. Subscribe for me, please. What happened to Barbie is that Mattel has managed to maintain Barbie's relevancy, either through making Barbie dolls that were trendy at the time, like the totally hair doll, or maybe by having it keep up with what's trending on a larger scale at the time, like having her be a YouTuber. The point is to make Barbie accessible to wherever kids are congregating. And understanding the trends at the time and how a new generation thinks is incredibly difficult. But Barbie has managed to succeed in that field for a long time now. It's not just that 
Barbie's still alive because she's the most recognizable doll. Barbie is still alive because they know how to keep her relevant. And frankly, good on Mattel for being so successful at this. I was hesitant to make this video because I assumed it'd be made of a bunch of poorly made animation movies and shows, but they understand the importance of having everything that complements Barbie reach a certain level of quality. And with all that said, that's everything I have for this video. I have merch, you should buy it. I have hoodies and shirts and stickers. Or maybe join my Patreon if you want trading cards. And remember, commenting and subscribing is free. Tell me what other Barbie movies I should watch. Because if it's anything comparable to the Princess and the Popper one, I may actually watch it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay beautiful and keep playing.